uh, before, before you go on to your next point, uh, what, what has the, the police, what has the, the government done about this? I mean, are, are they aware that this stuff is happening? And if so, I mean, what have they done to stop it, to curtail it, et cetera? Nothing. There's, there's been a recent, a recent scandal called the Rotherham scandal. I don't know if, you, I don't know if you've heard about this. Mm -hmm. um, in one city, called, in one town in the UK called Rotherham, there was an investigation done. And they, done, they found out that 1,400 young English girls had been passed around, raped continuously for, 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 for 30 years. For the last 30 years, this has been going on. Now, what they found out was that the police were fully aware of it. In fact, if I tell you a couple of stories from this government investigation, this government investigation found that in one of the instances, these Muslim men who are aged 30 years old and 40 years old, they had a 12 and 13 year old girl in a house that they were all raping. The girl's fathers went to the house to get their daughters back. The police turned up and arrested the fathers. Now these things, I know, these, and I'll tell you another story. The, poli the police turned up, there was a derelict house where five Muslim men had an 11 year old English girl and they were raping her in this house. The police turned up. The police arrested the girl for being drunk and disorderly. Now, your people really need to look into this because it will sound so far-fetched, it won't sound real. These horror stories, I was talking about seven years ago, 10 years ago, and people didn't believe us. People called, called us bigots. People called us extremists for talking about them. Two years ago, we had the Rotherham expose.